Hello and welcome back to everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about a little problem that most of you guys noticed in my previous uh, videos that when you walk with your character, you go through all the objects and they don't have collision setup. So the only thing that has collision right now is the terrain that I've created. So I'm going to talk about how you can add collision to the mega scans objects and how you can add custom collision uh, to your taste so let's get started straight to the point all right uh, so i'm gonna select this rock and i'm gonna right click on it and click edit which is Control e as a shortcut so you can just select the rock Control e and this window will pop up which is um, to customize your 3d mesh with a lot of parameters so the first step is here is the collision tab and in the drop down you can have a lot of different collision properties to add but first in the search tab i'm gonna type collision and here i'm gonna explain a little bit about the tabs over here uh, the first thing is what for collisions so here you can add different types of lod's for uh, the collision and the next thing is you can add a customized collision mesh, which I'm going to show you how to do. Here in the primitive section, it shows an array of primitives that you can hold, which will uh, determine the collision. So you can have uh, a lot of spheres for the colliders, a lot of boxes, a lot of capsules, a lot of convex elements or tempered capsules. So here are the arrays that will hold your collision meshes. I'm going to show it in a seconds. So the simple collision physical mesh, what it represents, it represents a surface properties. So for example, if this rock is icy, you can make your character slope on it because it's a little bit slippery because of the ice. And here you can create this effect with uh, physical materials. Here in the collision presets, you can add uh, personal presets or you can add or you can block all. What this means is uh, if you select block all, it will block the collision of this object, will block every object that collide with it. But for example, if you want, let me select it to custom. If you want your vehicles to go through uh, this rock and penetrate it, you can select to ignore the collision. And you can set up everything here. So uh, let's say we want, uh, let's say we want our UI not to collide with this collision or our rock doll uh, to ignore this collision. You can set up everything here very custom. But for now, I'm going to block everything. So you can check out everything here uh, from the collision presets or just select custom and select your uh, preferences. All right, this is uh, the collision presets. And this is pretty much it about the collision properties and here you can generate missing collision uh, here on real engine can generate uh, the collision that is missing automatically so let me create my first collision for this object go to collision let's create a sphere and you can see we have this uh, huge sphere which will represent the collision of our object i'm gonna click save i'm gonna click play and show you what it does now i'm blocked in the radius of the sphere which is pretty inaccurate, at least for this object. And this is not doing anything good for our object. Of course, you can tweak. As you can see here in the sphere array, we have uh, our first collision mesh added and you can tweak it over here. You can move it, you can scale it and you can add second sphere, you can add third sphere and it is adding up on in this array. and. This is not something I want for this rock, so I'm going to select all of them and I'm just clicking delete. From here, you can add capsule collision box. Let me go through all of them. If you click on box, it will add in the box array. If you click on uh, simplified collision, it's going to create a simplified convex collision, which is trying to get the shape of the rock with uh, a simple form as possible. Let me try the most uh, sophisticated simpl simplified collision, 26 DOP. So this 26 DOP is pretty much good uh, for this rock. So let me show you this collision. It is pretty much not accurate too. As you can see, I'm just 
I'm just not satisfied with this type of the coll of collision, but if you want this type of collision simplified and in some ways accurate, you can use uh, this one, 26 DOP. I'm going to remove the collision by clicking on this button, remove collision. And now uh, my favorite collision is auto convex collision. So if I click it, uh, it's going to pop up a little menu. And here you can tweak all the parameters, the, the hole count, which is increasing the geometry that is needed for the cl collision and the vertices here. So let me just show you the first result. If I click apply, it's going to create this kind of collision, which is looking pretty accurate and pretty low poly. If I tweak up this to 20 and let's say 24, 26, I click apply and it's going to generate even more precise collision, which I think I'm pretty fine with it. I'm going to click save. I'm going to click play and let's try it. Now my rock looks good. Let me just slightly move on it to see how the legs are working. And that looks pretty accurate to me with only Unreal generated collision. So this is a result that I'm satisfied with. So this is something that I like and this will be my collision for this rock. So if I go in and search for collision, I can see that I have four, 24 different elements. So convex collision is created from 24 different convex meshes. And I'm fine with it as uh, it looks good. But if you have uh, some performance bottlenecks, of course, you can remove this collision, auto convex collision, tune down the details, click apply, wait a little bit, 12 elements. So it's pretty much uh, to test everything to see how it looks good. And this is for my rock. If you have uh, simple objects, of course, you can add just box collision and tweak it up and this will work just fine. And the final thing that I want to show you about collisions, how to do it. Of course, you need to uh, add collision for each object. For example, this one, let me just show you that I go inside it. All right. For example, for this one, I'm going to go here, collision, auto convex. I'm going to tweak it to 10, 16, click apply, wait for it, save. And my collision is done for this object. It's pretty straightforward and easy process. Let's just move a little bit and see how the legs are working great on this object. Pretty good. Now, if you want to add your custom collision from a 3D uh, application like Maya Blender or Max, I'm going to show you right now uh, how to do it. I've created this uh, pretty simple primitive. It's called wooden planks. And I'm going to create a little collision for it. I'm just going to make it like that. And I'm going to place one here so that my character will be blocked from this side. I'm just making it pretty rough. So uh, just for the tutorial purposes. Let me just align a little bit this. Okay, so now if I select this and export to my wooden planks, all right, I'll need to import it into Unreal Engine. I'm going to right click, click import to the game scene, double click on it, and I need to turn off the generate missing collision and click import all. All right, everything is imported. I just drag this all here. Let me just scale it down a little bit. I click, I click play. And now I'm going through the mesh, which is a problem. And I'm going to tell you what the problem is. You need to tell Unreal Engine that those two meshes are collision mesh. And how to tell Unreal? You need to name this correctly. I'm going to name this UCX underscore wooden planks underscore zero one. What this means is convex collision mesh is for UCX 
underscore which is uh, the object the loaden plug and the mesh number the first one i'm gonna call this uh, zero two and now when i select everything export and i'm gonna delete those and re-import everything right click import wooden planks again general missing collision turn off import now if i drag my uh, wooden planks over here and hit play i have my collision works and it works pretty good colliding with the character i'm going here lighting i can jump on it let me just try again all right and you see it works pretty good so the important thing is the naming ucx for Un unreal convex collision mesh then you need the name of your object and then the collision uh, number so this is collider number one this collider number two you just import it and if i double click on it from here from show simple collision you can see the collision of the objects so here we have two collisions and if we want to add the floor i can uh, pretty easily duplicate this move it over here make it like that it's number three export it like that go here uh, in my unreal engine reimport double click on it simple collision bam another collider so this is the way how you can import your custom collisions in unreal engine so thank you guys for watching this pretty quick video on how to generate and create collisions for uh, your mega scans or your custom meshes this is pretty important and it's a little bit pain in the ass the process of creating collisions but if you create them correctly your game will look great and your character and environment will feel great when they interact with each other so thank you guys for tuning in like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i'm waiting you in my next one bye